Guilty on nearly all counts. His uh, aide uh, found not guilty, acquitted on all counts. And then another defendant in this case, Charles Quay, also found guilty. We understand that um, the U.S. Attorney's Office, the federal prosecutors who brought this case, uh, will be heading down to the lobby of the Dirksen Federal Building in the next couple of minutes uh, to provide their summation uh, of events. And we'll get to hear from the U.S. Attorney's Office and likely the head of the FBI in Chicago. Let's go to our Julian Cruz now at the courthouse. And Julian, you've been there quite some time as well. Your observations at this point at 311 on this Thursday afternoon. Well, Patrick, I've got to tell you, I got a good look at Ed Burke as he walked by with his entourage as he headed out of the building here at the Dirksen Federal Building. And Mike Lowe talked about how red his face became when the verdict was read in that 25th, uh, 25th floor courtroom. And I got to tell you, uh, he had the look, Burke had the look of a shell shock soldier, just kind of a stunned look on his face, very red uh, complexion, uh, maybe a mix of embarrassment, humiliation, fear, uh, looking at the possibility of extensive jail time, having been found guilty on all of those counts except for one, uh, 13 of the 14 criminal counts. But as he walked by, reporters asking him, uh, Ed, what do you have to say to the taxpayers? No response. Uh, walking as if he had blinders. Uh, he was surrounded by a fairly large uh, group of people. Of course, his wife, the former judge, Ann Burke, was with him. But uh, he absolutely made no eye contact with any reporters. Uh, walked by um, with a, a sort of stunned look on his face, uh, a 100-yard stare, you know, just looking ahead, not making any eye contact with the reporters here. So I'll tell you, it was, uh, it was quite a sight to see this uh, once powerful alderman uh, you know, who has been brought down in humiliating fashion here with these devastating convictions. Uh, we are awaiting uh, the assistant uh, U.S. attorneys who are going to come down and talk to us, uh, Diane MacArthur, Sarah Stricker. We will, of course, bring that to you as it happens right here in the pen. But quite a scene to see Ed Burke uh, vacating the Dirksen. He had a car waiting for him, surrounded by reporters. and. Um, getting into his car, uh, not talking to anybody. Uh, it was really a, a shocking sight, I have to say. You know, the a once proud alderman, 79 years of age, and looking at all this jail time. Uh, of course, perhaps he'll be appealing. You know, we had hoped to talk to his attorneys. I don't know if they're going to come back. Uh, Joe Duffy, uh, we would love to be able to talk to him, but I'm not sure if, if he has left. Uh, but, uh, of course, we'll bring you the very latest uh, when the prosecutors come down uh, to talk to reporters. I, and I think uh, we're, hearing, we're hearing now uh, that the uh, assistant U.S. attorneys will be heading down here shortly. So uh, we'll have that for you live, of course. Back to you guys. For that. Thank you, Julia.